Now, the popularity of outdoor group fitness is growing. Rain or shine, you'll see hardy souls swinging kettlebells and throwing medicine balls around fields and sports grounds as well. Now, one of the pioneers of boot camp style classes joins us today, personal trainer and the creator of Drill Outdoor Fitness, Andrew Wilson. Morning, Andrew. Good morning. It is lovely to have you here. Thank you. Now, you used to work at a, a top gym in Auckland and then you started taking your clients outside. So what made you take them outside? Uh, well, um, I think a few of my clients wanted a bit more space and, you know, wanted to get out of the gym scene, sort of um, wanted something a bit different, diverse. Yeah. So I took them out there and um, before you know it, other people caught on. And, I yeah, bet they did. I group. bet they just yeah. sort, of, sort of coming into towards you slowly went, oh, they know what they're doing. I better, I better tag onto that one. Yeah, that's right. That's the thing too, because sometimes being in a gym can be quite intimidating for people. And we yeah. all like getting more fresh air as well. That's right. But what I noticed was that um, there was not a lot of people out there doing it. And I thought, well... Hey, so a space here. I'm so, onto something here. Yeah, yes, yeah exactly. Right. You have all the space in the parks. Mm. Uh, so boot camps are still very, very popular. Um, even as we head into winter, are people still wanting to do them? Oh, for sure. You get a few that go indoors, but um, you get the hardy souls that come out. And, do you and go out rain or it. shine? Rain and shine. Yeah. What Which, happens if it's really, really rainy? We have had people come out and hail. That, really? Yes, down at Milford Reserve. There's a few people that came out and. Uh, they love it. They just absolutely love the elements and getting down and dirty, so to say. So Actually, to speak. you'd feel yeah. really good too because you'd feel real one with nature. Um, is there a set structure to your workouts? Oh, definitely. There has to be a set structure, mm. um, a warm up phase, you know, um, get them all primed and ready for a high intensity hit. And then you just cool them down and um, mobility drills at the end. So, yeah, definitely a structure. Because I guess you want to make sure that everybody stays healthy and that everything stays working well, oh, you don't yeah. want to break anyone. No, for sure. We make sure that the, the terrain's um, right for them to run in. We make sure there's no stones or logs around. You've got to, you know, yeah. you definitely got to make sure that they're safe and uh, injury-free environment. Yep. Are they suitable for everybody of all sorts of definitely. fitness levels? Yes, absolutely. We have um, from weekend warrior to um, avid gym goer, they all come out. It's all scaled to mm -hmm. suit their fitness level. So um, yeah, everyone goes at their own pace and they absolutely love it. You know, big group atmosphere. Mm. It's brilliant. I know that a lot of boot camps, the, the thing is about functional exercise. What mm -hmm. exactly does that mean? I hear the words all the time. Well, that um, basically mimicking a natural movement, so through multiple planes of your body. So, for instance, a lunge, a squat, even gait, a throw. So um, just just helps stopping injuries. Yeah. Basic and injuries through mo you know movement injuries. Yeah. So if I came along with one of my friends and we we're at totally different levels, you would adapt for both of us. Definitely. Yep. There's a there's a low impact m options for everybody. Um, a no running mode. So if you didn't like your running, which most people don't like, you um you can just go into a no running mode, um, which just gets them to do exercises as the others go for a bit of a jog around. So we cater for everybody. And I guess the social aspect must be really good too. I mean, people would use it as a good time to socialise. Oh, yeah, definitely. We have um, there's long friends networks now. Um, everyone after boot camp go out for coffee. We go to events, sort of um, mud runs, and you know, and yeah, the social aspect's huge, and it's creating a community culture. And it, must, community culture. and it must be good to have that support too of like-minded people and if you know that the rest of the group are going to be out there you're going to be encouraged to get out there even if it is raining. Oh definitely, you held, held accountable to the group so um, it makes you get out and do it. Yeah. And do you, think, do you think being outside gives you more chance of success for sort of maintaining that fitness regime? Uh, yeah I think so, yeah. The, um, I suppose vitamin D I suppose invigorates, you know, you, you tend to, be, like I said, you be accountable to um, other group members so yeah, you can. Um, that definitely adds to the success. Yeah. So I know that a lot of people uh, set fitness goals, and usually they wait till like the week before summer starts. But if you are setting fitness goals now, what should we be looking at? I suppose, like I said before, accountability is good to have. Um, I suppose structure um, yeah. and uh, yeah. and make sure that you can definitely. actually follow through with something. What are the yes. big mistakes that people make? I'm um, not sticking to it. Sort of perseverance. You've got to get through a sort of a conditioning phase. Um, changing lifestyle habits mm. is a big thing. It's not just a one-off quick fix. You've got to change the habits and look at this as um, celebrating your body as for as a punishment to your body. Could the whole family do it? Definitely. I've got families that come in. It's a great way to keep the family together, do some it exercise is, together. Definitely. And also good to catch up with friends where you're not just sitting there eating cake and drinking coffee. No. Actually doing something physical. It's, it's yep. like a really good idea. Definitely. I know the yeah. words boot camp can be a little bit scary for people, but it's not you yelling at them sort of in an army style situation, no. is it? No, we don't. We Positive reinforcement, definitely. Um, and uh, we, yeah, we just the group fitness side of things is, um, it's very low key, low, low, you know, where everyone laughs. A bit of humour, one of the L's in drill means laughter. So 
we don't take it too seriously. Excellent. Yeah. What about nutrition side? Because obviously exercise is one part. What about the nutrition side of it? Can you offer advice there? Uh, we offer um, advice, but we sort of tend to push them towards uh, specialised nutritionists that have um, you know qualifications yeah. in, that, in that area. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Hey, that's been great inspiration. Thank you so much for joining us today, Andrew. No